every day I'm learning something new. So every day is is like figuring out problems and how to solve them. And like I'm working on very different softwares which are very different from each each of them. So when I go to a new one, it's like a fresh start. So I have to start back from scratch, solve problems. Everything is different from each other. And there's a lot of learning. And that's what I love about my work. So as far as things that I've learned and I can take back to West Point and, and expand upon for my military career, uh, just interacting with people, learning how to communicate about things you don't understand or that you want to uh, understand more about. So just the first couple of days I've been able to go ask someone about a question, um, learning a whole lot about processes that I had not known about before. Um, and I think it's extremely helpful if we have that mindset going forward. And the ability as an intern to do kind of real work it's really awesome. Um, I'm learning a lot that I haven't learned in my classes, which I think is so important. I've learned a lot of really interesting things here. The overall concept of, of research, um, you know, you're, you're really, we're almost on the forefront of, of what scientists know in a sense. So we're, we're just, we're almost with a flashlight, we're walking in the dark and we're just trying to find these new areas um, that haven't really been touched before. And for me, that's been really interesting. The most interesting part of working with this project is uh, I have the chance of working both eye tracking and augmented reality display at the same time. So the, another fascinating thing is that here I'm working with the parameters related to our own eyes. So we are considering two human visual system parameter virgins and IPD, like where we are focusing at and how far we are focusing at and we are def uh, defining and developing the model based on our human visual system and we are trying to align that with the eye tracker data and also with the HMD. This is Kevin, he is a virtual human. I work in an effective computing lab so a lot of it, the research is surrounding emotion. So one of the studies we want to do is uh, whether or not the negotiation outcome would change with a happy versus angry or a neutral versus angry agent. And we think that the outcome might be more effective if we have something like Kevin in there instead of just the text box and a picture. So basically I'm here to research how context affects how you perceive facial expressions. So smile in different contexts will mean different things. Um, in this case, the context being a game called Split or Steal, which is based on the prisoner's dilemma. We put the videos um, in the survey and we gave the surveys who are perceiving the facial expressions uh, different amounts of context of the game. So it's a lot of statistical analysis, a lot of like linear regression and like averaging things and seeing, um, seeing what people thought other people were feeling. So this summer, I'm working with the Vision and Graphics Lab, and um, my project is about creating scripts and algorithms that will be used to um, create a synthetic human face database. Basically, what I'm trying to do is we have the input, right, which is any given 3D human face model, and then I want to be able to put it into my script, and then basically randomize it to give it any any sort of customizations that we want to. So MentorPal specifically, it helps mentors set up their own virtual mentors. And the work that I'm specifically doing is when they are going to set up their mentors, if they get confused at any part of the process, they can look at my specific implementations to, to understand and reduce the confusion so that they can continue making really good mentors for people. Basically, what I'm working on is the user feedback page on MentorPal, which is basically questions that aren't answered or that users ask mentors that they haven't answered. My favorite thing about the work on MentorPal is that I always feel challenged and never expect uh, what the result is going to end up being, but. Overall, I think it's a really cool and unique experience to work on it. So the project I'm working on in ICT is essentially I'm expanding on a research project that was done previously. And so for the project I'm working on now, instead of focusing on the accents, we're seeing if whether or not, if 
the virtual human does not receive the correct input, would it still give you the correct output that it's supposed to give? There's a virtual human and you're free to ask the virtual human any questions and the virtual human should map this question to a set of answers, right? So I'm sort of working on that classification algorithm that allows the question to get mapped to an answer. So this software is the NPC editor and we use this in this lab to sort of map questions to like relevant answers. The one that I'm working on, Sergeant Blackwell, it was on display in a museum in New York. And obviously um, there's a lot of different people in New York or in metropolitan areas. So we got a sample size of questions that is about 2,500. Um, and then there are some automated answers that Sergeant Blackwell has. So our job is to evaluate those answers um, to try and pair them with the question so that whenever there's like a conversation with Sergeant Blackwell, such as, uh, how's your day going? We can give the best answer. Um, and that way it's like talking to a real person. Cause I mean, the goal um, is to have a realistic conversation um, and make it as like seamless and easy as possible. We created a simulation of virtual world and the, um, the point of this experiment is to see the interaction between when, when an ambush happens, when they're in search mode, what's the difference in their uh, eye physiology. You would drive around this world and look for targets and label them whether as friendly or hostile. And every now and then you get ambushed like this, uh, that the Toby will do all the eye tracking and make sure to catch your eyes when, the, when those shifts happen. My favorite thing about the internship, I think, would be the people here because I feel like what really makes like the company or community is the people there. And I don't think I would have such a nice experience that I've had now if I was with different people or if I wasn't with ICT. So I'm not from around here, right? I live in India, so this entire experience of like being able to travel abroad, come here, visit a new place, meet new people, that's like the most favorite thing for me. My favorite thing about this internship so far is uh, meeting new people, uh, especially if they're not from SoCal and kind of learning about their college experience. It's very, really fun to bond with them, meet with them, learn about their projects. Uh, and uh, that's one of the uh, things that really bol bolsters the uh, internship experience at I ICT. So I think it's been like a great experience in um, like socializing a lot, especially like after the pandemic. Like we still, we're all from different parts of the country and we can relate on different experiences. And I think we are definitely in a really great community. We've developed an amazing community. And I love it when the weekends come because we always can go like go out and explore the city and check out all the sites. My favorite thing here is the tacos that I get with my mentor, Russell. <laughs> but no, in, in all seriousness, it's the people actually. While the work we do is serious, the people here are also really supportive and friendly and very optimistic and um, and very like cheerful and everything. And so that's definitely, I would feel like is my favorite thing. I still feel there's so much wonder and uh, I'm still so fascinated with this area of work is like it just feels like magic and ICT this place itself feels like magic to me like you know you've got the light stage it's like bringing arts together with technology you know like fusing the hardcore engineering you know so to speak the hardcore engineering with with the aesthetics that's what I love about this place <laughs> that's it